Welcome back, YouTube, to um, the third episode of F1 Season Challenge 1959. We're, to, we're up to the third race of the season. Um, one of my favourite tracks, Zandvoort. So uh, this is the current, this is the driver standings as they currently are. There's three drivers tied in third place. We're one of them. Um, and uh, apart from that, there's nothing really major going on there. Um, as for the constructors, we're really taking it by storm, so uh, we'll load the circuit up and um, we'll uh, get racing. Well, we had um, an okay qualifying, I suppose. We qualified 8th on the grid. Um, <clears throat> took me uh, a while to get onto the, soft comp uh, the qualifying compound, so I didn't really get any good times in until my last lap, so I think I did well. Uh, considering, so yeah, let's get to the race. And we're off here at the Dutch Grand Prix 1959. Looking for a spot to go around the first corner, go around the outside. People's heads are leaning out of their cars as they turn in. We've made our way past a few cars now. I have to remember that these tyres don't have as much grip as the qualifying tyres. So we moved our way up from 8th to 4th, and we're behind Bruce McLaren now. And no, someone's gone off. Who's that? Sterling Moss. Sterling Moss went off. That's heartbreak for him. We're up into the podium position now. This track is a very hard track. It's very winding. Um, it doesn't take much to go wide and on, onto the onto the hills. So you you've really got to be you know at the top of your game all the time on this track. And um, Bruce McLaren's just taken off. He's gone. Um, Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to be catching him anytime soon. So, um, we're just going to try not to crash or anything. Hopefully we'll do alright. These are going to be some back markers because I haven't really got anywhere near Bruce. Bruce is about two seconds off the road. So these are going to be some guys that fell. Oh shit. Yeah, see that's what I mean. I mean it's very easy to go, to go off. Um, at those corners because you know you just get a little bit too much power uh, around the corners and you're up on the hill so it's a very hard track to deal with but I love it I, I genuinely love this track and I can't wait to do it on the you know in the 1970s 1980s cars Bruce McLaren went off and so did Jack Brown which means we're in first place Ooh, that's what I mean this this track you know you could be the fastest in this track, but it is so easy to get something wrong. And if we stay in this position, we'll take the lead in the Drivers' Championship. And we might actually be in for a World Championship here. Um, two World Championships. And there's a car going very slow there. Maybe that was. Looks like they were in a BRM there. Let's see how many cars have gone out thus far. Uh, a couple of Ferraris and a, uh, a BRM bubble of things. <laughs> Looks like Bruce McLaren is tired as well. Whoa! I'm gonna check myself around that corner because I've got to be more careful than that. And there's a fight going on between Graham Hill and, and Jack Brabham behind us. Grand Hill is still at Lotus, our former teammate from last season. Alright, well, as long as I 
whenever I screw up. Uh, we look like we're doing alright. The Graham Hill is just catching us very quickly. Um, I didn't set the car up too well, I don't think. Um, so, you know, it sort of bit me in the butt a bit, but that's alright. The question is, can you catch up fast enough? Because he's got to make up 10 seconds in one lap, so uh, down to him, essentially. Let's get going on the last lap. A lot of cars there on our right that have already gone out of the race. careful here. This corner here I've got to be more careful, I can't just gun it like I did during qualifying because these tyres don't have nearly as much grip as the qualifying tyres do. Now we've got a back lap which looks like a Porsche in front of us there. Graham Hill's caught two seconds up, two seconds up from the line so definitely a lot faster than we are. He gives Lotus, the team that we left at the end of last season. We're going to get around this porch. Somewhere away. It was an ugly car, that car. Yeah. Not a fan, really. Oh great, great, started to rain. Good thing we don't have any more laps because this could have turned ugly. But um <clears throat> we come he, he Graham Hill did a good job. Caught us four seconds in the last lap of the race, but it wasn't enough. We come home to our first victory of the season. Which puts us at the top of the table. did very well to, to claim that. Um, we took the opportunities when they were there and we didn't stuff up in the beginning, so that those fir that first corner is, is so important in, in these races because if you stuff up in that, you know, you can ruin your whole race, which we didn't do. <laughs> Only seven cars finished of the 20, 20 races. Which is absolutely ridiculous, but you know, we did have a faster average speed than Graham Hill, but that, I'm assuming that's because he was in an accident. But he finished 6.2 seconds behind us. Um, here are the driver standings. We are first with 16 points. Um, in his island, and Olivier um, Jinder Bergen Bergen um, are tied in second in eighth. Jack Brabham, Jack Brabham and Graham Hill are tied uh, for third on six. Um, the constructive standings looks like um, the fight will be between Cooper and Lotus at the moment. Um, Aston Martin has gotten some points, but you know they they're not doing amazingly well. And the next race will be in France at Reims, so. Um, Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe, uh, favorite, and thumb the video. If you have any questions, just post the post them in the comments. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.